Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn one more real-time scenario solving. How to solve one more real-time problem by using AWS service. Now let's say I have some data set related to some service. For example, Amazon Athena. Now I have a need to create a report on those data sets by using visualization and by visualizing and analyzing that data set, now I have a need to create a report on the data set what I have. Now I am searching for a service. Now I need a service for visualizing and analyzing these data sets. What are the data sets I have? Those data sets, I want to visualize and analyze those data sets and create a analytical dashboard for presentation and sharing. So now what I want, I want a service for visualizing and analyzing the data sets I have and create a analytical dashboards for presentation and sharing of my reports. So is there any service available in AWS for doing this analysis and creation of reports from analytical dashboards, the answer for this is yes. We have a service that is Amazon QuickSight. By using this quick Amazon QuickSight, we can able to create and analyze dashboards. To analyze our dashboards in, in AWS. Inside AWS, we can able to easily create a analytical dashboards and we can able to analyze our data sets by using those analytical dashboards. So, and we can even share those advanced analytical dashboards with others, other users, other AWS account users who are present in my same account, other users present in my same account. Also, we have option to create PDF from those analytical dashboards and we can share that by using email as well, by using email as well. So what is the service and what we can able to do by using this service? It's a quick set. By using this service, we can able to visualize our data sets and analyze our data sets by creating a analytical dashboards for by creating analytical dashboards, we can able to visualize and analyze our data sets by using this Amazon quick site. And we can even present whatever the dashboard, analytical dashboard that we created in our presentations. And we can even share those analytical dashboards that we created as reports as well. So to understood, so in order to understood this, Amazon quick site. So let's do a simple task. Let's do a real time task. That is the task here is create an analytical dashboard. So we are needed to create a dashboard of which user accounts using the services, AWS services. So I have AWS account. Now I need a dashboard to analyze which users are using my AWS services and in detail with what services that user is using and comparison on how much time he spent on those services. So I want a analytical dashboard for achieving this task. So let's see practically by how to create an analytical dashboard by using this quick site and achieve this task. Now I just logged into my AWS management console and I just searched for quick sites. Then I can see the option that is quick site. I'm just clicking on it so that it will open the dashboard. This is how the actual dashboard will look like. I have already some analytical reports present here. So don't worry, I'll show you how to create an analytical report. You can see I have multiple options. These are recent analytical reports and you have dashboards option, you have analytics option, you have data sets option. 
I have already told you about this data sets. That is, uh, by using these data sets only, we can able to, on these data sets only, we actually analyze our data and we create these analytical dashboards. Now I'm expecting to create a new analytical dashboard for the current task. So for that, I just move to top right corner. You can see I have an option that is new analytics. Just click on it. So you just click on this new analytics. Now I'm clicking on this new analytics to create a new analytics report. You can see it was asking me to select your data set. And I also have a new data set option. If you want to upload your new data set, then click here so that your new data set uploading option will be available. Currently, it was also showing me how much capacity I use it. That is 14.5 GB, 14.5 MB. Totally one GB is available for us. Now you can able to upload new data set from this option as well. Currently, I'm expecting to create analysis for this Athena data set. Now I'm just clicking on it. After clicking on this, you can see I have a pop-up appeared here. You can see it was specifying the database name and database uh, data source name. And even we have an option to delete that data set as well as edit the data set or duplicate and create another data set. Currently, I'm expecting to create analysis on this data set. So I'm just clicking on create analysis, create analysis. You can see it just created a dashboard. This is how the dashboard look like. And this is the name that I have provided. And in this, you have multiple options that is visualize, filter, parameters, actions, themes, settings. Now let's look one by one. This visualization is used to create you bar graphs. So currently we are on that stage. And these filters we can apply by using these field lists. Whenever we click any one of the field for apply applying to my bar graph for visualization. At that time, what happens is they have, you can assume that like, if you use any one of the field, then it has some backend code to filter, to filter your data set based on your selected field. So like that, you can assume this filters and you have themes, right? You have, by using these themes, you can able to manage background color that is white to black, black to white, like that. And here, you can see if I move this to somewhat top right, you can see some more options that is share option is also there and print option is also there. By using this share option, I can even share with my users, my AWS account users and same account, same AWS account users. And by using this print option, I can able to print this analytical dashboard after creating this and in the form of PDF and even I can share that in the form of mail to anyone, whomever I want. So let's move on with our task to create it. Mm, what is our task? Our task is to create for analyzing which person uses my AWS account services. At first we need to create dashboard for it, right? Yeah. In order to provide effective dashboard presentation, cost will provide me a best effective attraction. So that's why I am filtering. I am achieving my task by using cost. You can see under fields list, you can see under this fields list, line item unblended cost. I am just selecting that so that it will be filter. This filter will be applied to my data set, whatever I using. And then you can see I got the result. You can see. So it looks very simple, right? Yeah. So now we have seen totally in my account level what cost I am getting. Now I am expecting to filter it 
based on sub accounts that means users level so which user will getting how much cost like that i want to see in my dashboard so for that you we need to apply another filter since i want i want to filter the total cost by usage account ids that is my users based on my user accounts which user account will cost me which uh, how much so based on that i would like to filter so that i just typed in the fields list usage you can see an option is available that is line item usage account id so if i click on it so then my usage my aws services usage will be based on my accounts so how much which account uses how much money in my aws account that will be filtered you can see after selecting this i am getting the graph like this you can see we having x axis as well as y axis in the x axis the previously selected item is present that is line item unblended cost sum and then in y axis i have line item usage account id so this account id will charges me this much whereas other account ids are not using my account so that's why no charge is there now what i am expecting is i am expecting to see which services that is what which services this user this user using so in order to get this cost which services this user is using or you can say which services cost this much amount that i want to see so for that you need to apply one more filter in it now for that for that in order to filter them based on services we have an option that is product what is that line item product code so now i am just selected this and this filter also applied to my data set so now at first we have applied this line item unblended cost filter to my database data set then i applied this line item usage account id so based on account id which user is getting how much amount of cost it will be applied now now since i am choosing this that is item product code so in user also it again filters into so which item which service will cost you how much so that's also get applied here you can see wow so super we got we achieved our task you can see one service that is you can see here amazon athena so that is in blue color so that cost you this much whereas amazon eks that cost you this much what so amazon athena obviously cost you more for this account and you can see this color that is amazon ec2 that cost you this much so we successfully achieved our task of filtering our aws services based on usage and we have seen based on cost comparison as well if you want to share this then we have an option that is at a top a top right corner you can see we are just moving there you can see an option that is share by using this option we can even share it with other users which are present in my same aws account or by printing by using this printing option we can even print this and we can share that pdf to others whoever it may be either they may be so for the person they are having email you can send to them and they can able to analyze these results as well now you can tell me is this a, seems to be x axis name and y axis name and this analytical dashboard name seems to be good no right so if i make the names to be appropriate then it seems to be better understanding so in order to do that you need to you need to click on configurations you can see here an icon is there that is configurations this icon is configuration just click on it now i am just clicking on it
Now you can see after clicking on it, we have option that is Y axis, X axis. Even we have show title. After double clicking on it, we can even edit this title as well. Now I'm just editing Y axis. I'm just clicking on Y axis. Now you can see I have written under Y axis. I have written the I have written this name. I replacing this name with linked account ID. Now I want to replace my X axis name as well. So I'm just clicking on X axis. Now here you can see I have written replaced the name with cost. I have written that here. Now I'm just adjusting this. Now I'm double clicking on this title so that I can able to edit that title as well. You can see I've adjusted that name as well. So now you can see uh, I'm just dragging these services a bit uh, left side so that the service names that means line item product quotes also clearly visible to us. So you can see I just dragged it left side. So wow. So we created an exciting dashboard where we achieved our task successfully. So cost by account and service that we listed. So cost and linked account and which services are using how much and which services are utilized how much cost. So that I have created successfully by using this and we have even provided a great dashboard for it. If you just move your cursor on top of the icons, the options, then you can able to get some detailed description here in this dashboard. But after printing it as PDF and sending it as email to any user, that detailed description will not be available. Actually, that's one point I want to mention here. And that's the thing. You have done this. So in this way, you have created your own analytical dashboard in Amazon Pixel. So in this way, we can able to visualize our data set and analyze our data set and we can able to filter our data set based on our requirement and create these analytical dashboards and we can even share these dashboards and we can even print these dashboards and send them in the form of mails. So and we can use these reports to simply tell the cost or management or services usage very easily and we can so in this way we can able to simply analyze our data sets by using amazon quick site i hope you understood this video so in this way we can able to analyze and visualize our data sets by using quick sites and we can able to create our analytical dashboards and we can able to share it to other aws users in my same account or we can even able to download this as a PDF and we can even share that details, share that uh, PDF to other users in the form of email. So I hope you understood this video and you got a good knowledge on Amazon QuickSight and you also understood the task that we performed in this video. I hope this video is contentful. And this video provides you some knowledge or knowledge recap. If you feel this video is contentful, then please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching again. See you back in the next video with another interesting topic. Until then, bye bye guys. Thanks for watching again.